So, I've been waiting, finally came in. It's my wife's Roar Rock helmet. Got it the other day, we set up the Senna. It was our test dummy, if you will. So, got it in. Got my Roar Rock in. Let's open her up. I haven't seen it yet, obviously. Cutting the tape off it. Just got here. Let's get out of this box. Turn her upside down. Don't need that box. Alright, here it is. So I've got a Roar Rock Atlas 2.0 camo large because I got a big old head. Set this back up here. Whoops. Senna. Alright, let's pull it out. Ooh. Got our visor. Let's see. Got some stickers. Got the box. Some neat stickers here. We got a poster uh, with all the instructions. And I should have read this the other day. I'm putting it together because I didn't read the instructions. It was difficult. Let's open it up. Oh, wow. Dude, that's awesome. That is sweet. Man. I've been wearing a half helmet for the past five years. Love it. Whatever. All right. Let's see how it fits. Man, this is a sweet looking helmet. Put all this stuff on it and mess it up. Oh, well. It'd be worth it. Let's put it on. Oh. It's light. It's tight. I don't know if I could use the extra bigger size, but that's how mine felt too. There it is. It's awesome. Oh. <laughs> All right, so came with the stickers. Throw those off the side. Came with a dark visor, like this one. That's on this helmet right here. And then, so we got some things to put on this today. We ordered. The Roar Rock chin uh, camera mount. So I actually had to go out and buy an M5 uh, screw for this. Right there, it's an Allen key. So it's gonna be a metric M5. I'm using my original GoPro mount right there. So we're gonna stick it to the chin. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install our Cine 50S. Uh, we're gonna update the firmware on it and we're also going to install two mics. Uh, I ordered these from oops, I ordered these from Powerwise. It is a the two lavalier mics and it comes into one Y connector. And that Y connector actually takes the audio and puts it into one channel. So what I did is I went ahead and I put G for GoPro on that one and S for Cinna on this one. And so what we're gonna do is be able to bring in audio from my Cinna and audio from me talking. And then I went ahead and took some heat shrink and heat shrinked over both of these. I taped and put a little bit of heat shrink on this one because I don't know if I wanna leave this one hooked up. And then I heat shrinked this right here. I'm just trying to weatherproof it so we don't have any problems with water. So, and then I'm going to use the GoPro, which I'm talking to you guys on right now. 
So let's go ahead, let's get everything out for the Senna and get it hooked up. All right, so let's go ahead and get this box opened up here with my other box of goodies that came with the Senna for this helmet. Let's see, how can we open this box? Ready? Here it is! We got our charger slash firmware updater. We got a boom mic that it comes with that you can replace. I'm not going to replace it. This is an auxiliary plug for the back of the device. Uh, so you can bring in a Bluetooth or MP3 player. This is the actual dock we're going to put in the helmet. And then we have some goodies that came in a bag. The Allen key. We have some 3M sticky tag, uh, tape. I think this is to hold some pieces down. This is another mount for the outside of the helmet we're not going to use. And then we have a whole bunch of other Velcro sticky tabs that we can use inside the helmet. So I'm going to bring you around and so you can look down at what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and remove all the padding from the helmet. Just got it upside down, put it on a soft cloth so we don't scratch it up in any way. Let's get to removing everything. Wow, this is, this is an upgrade. My wife's helmet didn't have this Velcro to hold this in. This is interesting. That Hers did not have that. I wonder if hers was an earlier made model. I don't know. Right here, if you look in the back, when you're taking this apart, this chin piece on the other side of your earpiece hooks in right here. So be careful when you put it back together to pay attention to that. I'm going to have to fix my wife's helmet now that I saw that. Oh, Fidlock. Boop. Pull it up. There we go. Left side cheek pad. Right side. Comes out easily. Loosen the back. There we go. And then we're going to, this little piece right here is going to end up going underneath this Rorock piece right here. So now we just remove it. It's going to come out and untuck. Little plastic wings right here. And then we are going to, okay, take this out. So now we just have our shell. That's it. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove these two screws right here because we're going to use this compartment to hide some wires. So it's going to be a long video because I'm going to take you along the process of getting everything installed. We're going to run microphones for GoPros. We're going to run microphones for Cinnas. We're going to put Cinnas on. It's going to be a lot. All right, so that's out. Here's our antenna that you would plug in if you were using the communicator that they have. Now there's screw, there's holes, there's a hole right here in the back. Let's see if I can get this on camera for you. It is right here. So that hole, we're gonna stuff wires down through it I'm going to come out here. So let's get our Cine put on. All right. So I've already put one of these on. So it should not be as difficult this time. We're going to undo our screws. It's a 2.5. Get them, get them started here. I'm going to go ahead and screw mine out. 
back these things out here. It comes with a supplied uh, Allen key, but I don't want to use that one. I'd rather have one of my other Allen keys. And then what I did was I just took it, I mounted it right here and put it in right behind here. You can see. So, let's go ahead and bring this guy around. <clears throat> that's a little bit difficult, but that's okay. I'll use their wrench here to get a little bit more play in these screws. right there. That's where I think I want to put it. So we will tighten this guy up. Don't go too tight, but obviously don't be afraid of it either. You don't want this thing to pop off. So we've got that on our good and tight. Let's grab our Senna, which I have down here beside me. Make sure it slides freely on and freely off. Off. All right, that works. So we got that mounted. Now we just need to put our ear pieces in. And do this, back it out, like so, get rid of that, have a mess to clean up after. Mount our ear pieces and like that. I'm going to take it and turn it like this, that way I can kind of take some of this wire, if you can see here, and tuck it down in behind this microphone for my cable management. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than not trying at all. Then we're going to take our other side here and we are going to stick it in like so. And then we are going to take and tuck the rest of this wire into that hole that I was talking about, but we'll do that in a minute when I shove the other wiring through. So, all right, so that's mounted up. The center's on the helmet. Now we gotta go through and mount up our GoPro setup. So let me grab all those mics and I'll be right back. So we have our microphones here. And we're gonna have to get, the, get them all separated. There we go. We got a lot of microphone to, to stow away. So let's go ahead and plan on having some slack out front here. And then that's going to go something like all right we have the wires follow each other in see we've got this bundle of wire right here may as well use it and actually may as well run it underneath the center so i'm going to undo it here Come what i'm doing all right so we went ahead and ran the two cables here underneath as you can see all right, so we've got everything that's going to run forward. Our cables are going to run together, and then we have some cables to stuff down into this hole 
with a helmet and pull back through. So I gotta kind of get thing get things started here. I don't have a big enough table, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Getting those two coming up through, grab it with my finger. Uh oh. Sausage finger moment. All right, here we go. And then, I'm gonna find which one of these. Correct one, there it is. Got another wire to shove through here. I'm gonna put together. Be a lot of cabling hid in this little hole here. All right. Cable management. You need it flat too. Otherwise, you're going to be uncomfortable wearing this helmet. So, there's one mic, there's the other mic. Whoops. It's okay. All right. So we need to hook up these mics. So this mic I'm envisioning is going to go right here next to my um your piece so that's gonna go there and I need a way to mount it there but that seems pretty sturdy so with all the padding in it should make it a lot easier wrong microphone this really is a lot of a lot of wires so let's get all these stuff and stowed away, and then I'll come back at you. Whew. All right, we got all those wires wrangled. It was an exercise. Whoa, yep, see, that's why you get a helmet donut. All right, spend a lot of money on a helmet, and then you go do something stupid like that. All right, now we need our two tiny screws. Where did our two tiny screws go? Here they are, one tiny screw, two tiny screws. We need our screwdriver. Need to get these screws started. I see it, it's right. And you gotta be careful because you could drop them on the ground. Hopefully you have somebody to help you when you do. <laughs> All right. All right, there's one screw. There is the second screw. All right, so we ran our wiring for our helmet deep down into here. We policed our cables with some tape, if you can see that, down in there the best we could. We tried to lay all of our wiring flat because we wanted it to be comfortable. And so let's get all the padding back in it. And once I have all the padding back in it, I'll show you guys. Um, where this fuzzy mic's gonna go. It's gonna go up here somewhere. So, be back. There's a lot of stuff packed in this helmet. So we gotta get the GoPro mount on the chin here. And um, I don't know where that went, but I'm gonna go get some an alcohol wipe, clean the surface off, and mount my GoPro mount, which is this guy. Right here, it's gonna mount on just like that. 
There's a little center line so you can line it up. There you go. All right. Be right back. All right, so we cleaned it with a little bit of alcohol and stuck it on here, centered it up. If you can see that little line down in there, helps you center it. You can just set it down on here. I don't see a lot of folks using this mount, so I hope that there's not a reason for that. I don't lose a GoPro. All right. So go ahead and grab our screw. Now it only comes with one of these, the mount does. It only comes with one of these. So you'll have to buy another one or steal one off another old mount that you have, which is what I did. And then we're gonna set this in here. And all my cables are running this side, so well, I'm gonna put it over here. Get that tightened up. Some folks say to heat up the surface before you put the mount on, but I did not, so roll with it the way it is. It does seem to have a little bit of play in it, but I'll get some epoxy and epoxy around it. Let's get our GoPro mounted up. I'll come back with my phone to show you guys. Here it is. It's done. Got the Ulanzi whole system right here if you look nice and neatly ran all the wires coming out it comes out the side here doesn't obstruct your view I'm really happy with this install so got two mics down there got that one and got my boom mic then I got another bike up there by my Senna and it works so let's go take it for a test drive and see how how she does. Yes. So I love this helmet. I rode with it last night for quite some time. Took the wife out and uh, put the other GoPro over here. So we'll have to do that again. But uh, oh, choke. I adjusted the idle. So she's really got to warm up now. It's so damn hot here in Florida. Whew. Well, I guess what I have to say about this helmet is it is a little noisy, but I used to ride with a half helmet and my ears would flap in the wind like Dumbo. So that was the worst and I couldn't hear anything anyways. So I'll take a little bit of wind noise. The visor is a little noisy. I get if I don't hold my head in the right spot. So I think that's just me figuring out this helmet still. Um, I got good field of view. I can see really far away uh, to my sides that is. My peripherals are great. I would prefer the shield to be a little bit darker. The sun is in my eyes, but I think they make darker shades for it. So, all in all, it's goodbye. It's a lot of wiring to hide. A lot of wiring to hide. Really. <laughs> it was not, it's not fun. But uh, we got to hit away. And uh, <clears throat> so until next time. Ooh, we can't leave yet. We got to get one really good pole in here before we get home. Leave everybody in the dust, you know.
Let's get one good pull in. Still got her choked out. Oh, look at the puppy. That dude's hat chilling like a villain, man. Almost our turn. I always wondered, why do dogs, like, stay in cars? They can just jump out. I mean, I get it. Some of them are smart. Some are dumb. Here we go. See y'all. <laughs> 